It's me, Beth. Today I headed to Goshen. I went to two stores. This one is Dented Can. Yes, this is a bulk and salvage store. That's a huge solar panel there in the back. And at the front, there's another huge solar panel. You won't be able to pass up this place if you get close to it. It's a huge, lar large structure. And you'll see both of their large solar panels. It was a sunny day. That's why I got out. I didn't want to bombard you with these kind of videos, but the weather may be turning next week and I thought I would take advantage of it. Get this video out to you. This aisle usually carries a cereal and they have Intamin donuts often. Not everything is expired. You have to look everything over. Here's some of the bulk items and you can see they even have the 50 pound oatmeal uh, down there on the bottom. It's $25 a bag. It's the exact kind that I have. Here they have their local honey for, uh, that's for sale. They have the large, the medium, and the small containers. So if you don't need a large, you can grab a different size. They carry different kinds of meat at the back of the store and it's always changing. This is a three pound Jimmy Dean roll between four and five dollars. They have the smaller rolls for $1.99. Now, like I said, at any given time you can go in these could be marked down. They could be close to expiring, so um, they will mark them down 50 cents or a dollar. You just don't know what you're going to find until you get in there. We usually find pretty good uh, deals on chicken. Today they had these huge bags of chicken fajita strip meat that are smoke flavored. They were $9.99. They also had, um, I'm not sure if this was a special, but it was on the door, these Italian style chicken breast that said $7.50. So it's either a special or a new product. I haven't been there in a while, so I wasn't sure. They almost always have these bags. These are $9.99, five pound bag for skinless, boneless chicken breast. Then if you wanna, um, this is the back of the store. There are, the, the meat there is to the left and at the back of the store, they usually have like local ice cream in the back of that area. They have bulk cheese. Now they also have a deli, which I'll show you at the end, but they carry farm fresh eggs and they had butter today, $1.99 a pound as well. They carry Indiana maple syrup, the large and the small uh, containers. They also carry that filling that I talked to you about in another video that uh, many of the Amish and Midnight stores have. This is a uh, apple turnover and they also had a caramel today. I haven't seen that before. I also haven't seen this marshmallow cream in a three pound tub. It was $7.99 and I thought that was something different. I thought these little cupcake wrappers were super cute for 99 cents, you get 30 of them. They look like uh, little cupcakes, something great for the kids. And speaking of kids, here is a 30 pack of cookies. These were $3.99 and they're 10 packs of each flavor. They're individually wrapped. So the expiration on it is January 31st of 2021. And you'll find a lot of that there, things that are gonna be expiring soon or have expired. But I find things that were good for many months out. Here we have a box of Reese's cookie, sorry, crunchy cookie. Um, these were 24 for 480 and the box did not have expiration. I'm guessing these were probably expired because they were super cheap probably labeled on the inside packets. I did buy two of these. They were $1.29 each, um, semi-sweet. They weren't real sweet. They're the special dark chocolates. My husband said they were excellent. So here at Denican in Goshen, they have a nice little deli. They're always willing to help you. The things they carry come in and out. They change regularly. About 15 to 20 minutes away, you'll find Troyer's Country Outlet. The, it's called a country outlet because the little store sets in front of a huge, a massive factory. When you walk in the door, they carry produce. It's up there on the right in those baskets. Things like potatoes and onions, typical produce items. Here is a short video so you can see the size of the store. They don't just carry food. On that wall over there, you'll see they carry party supplies, a lot of bulk things like cups, and party platters, silverware, I bought some cleaners. I'll show you that in a minute. But these freezers have things. They don't just carry uh, one particular thing. They carry meat. They carry vegetables. At the end of this aisle, uh, I'll show you in a minute here, they carry what I call exotic things down there on the end. They have things that I don't really see anywhere else. And in that area, they also use 
um, usually have huge packets of fish. So I did see this for my dad. It's a Indiana kitchen pork shoulder. It's a picnic. It has the bone in for 89 cents a pound. He likes using his smokers. Uh, so for $9.66, I'm sure he'd like that. Here is one of those things that I was talking about. Alligator, $12.59. In northern Indiana, we don't have alligator. So that was kind of different to see that in the store. Uh, Kentucky Legend Ham Steaks, $1.39. They carry a lot of the Kentucky Legend products. They also carry these Rimrock. They have like the General Chow's. They have a sweet chili, uh, boneless wings. And then my son's favorite are these battered chicken nuggets. Those are normally $5.99 for a big pack. Today they were $4.59. So I got five packs and that'll probably last him the rest of the year. He doesn't eat them regu regularly. They have Johnsonville products. Today they had four kinds of sausage that were $1.39 a pack. They had the Cajun style, the Polish uh, flame grilled Italian sausage, and they had a turkey in stock. Now, you will need to check all these things because, like I said, sometimes they're expired. Sometimes they're not even close to expiring. These were $1.39 Zatarain sausage. They've been carrying a lot of Zatarains lately. Uh, I, I did one time try it, and it was pretty good. But for $1.39, you get two sausages in that pack. Here's an example of something that isn't expired. This is good till uh, April. These were $2.50 each. Uh, smokehouse sausage. We haven't tried that, so I got that. Here is the big, big delicious tea. It's a huge tenderloin. My family giggles on first time they seen it. They were like, "What in the world?" It takes up an entire plate. That pack um, has quite a few in it. A nice stack for ten forty nine. This is also the store, by the way, that I got the dollar sausages. They have a Facebook page. If you want to go to their Facebook page, uh, they have two Facebook page. They have a list of like their super deals, and you can see where I got the sausage for a dollar a pack. Here are some fries. Now, normally they have a huge selection of stuff like this. These were in a super sale. They were $2 a bag, crinkle fries, and then they had the sweet potato waffle fries. They carry vegetables as well. I noticed that Save a Lot actually carries those red, green pepper, and onion uh, mixes, the top right, the exact bag. Here we have some battered, uh, dipped mac and cheese wedges. These were $7 for a big bag. They also carry stuff like breaded mushrooms. Essen House noodles, $2.50 a bag. This is the area I told you where Essen House noodles are really popular. To me, they remind me of my grandma's, the closest thing you can get in the store to my grandma's. They had the different um, cuts of noodles. They had the wide and the, the thinner. So for $2.50 a bag, they carry those. Here we have some of their bulk products. They have a wall with bulk products. They had the crispy fry mix. We use that sometimes for onion rings. They also have fish fry mix. They have things like this uh, gravy mix in a packet. They have sometimes like a cheese mix in a packet. Large, large size. They carry sweet treats, cookies, cakes. Um, today they had something different that I've never be seen before. Whoopie pies. Now the Amish in this area... They make a lot of homemade whoopie pies. Um, these I haven't tried before from the outlet. These are cinnamon roll with cream cheese. And the other uh, one I took a picture of is a red velvet with vanilla. Maybe we'll try that next time. These items, um, they come in and out and they change so quickly. I probably should have grabbed them today if I wanted to try them. They might not be there the next time. I believe these are mostly sugar pies. Usually they have three or four um, kinds of pies. Usually it's like a sugar custard and then... A few other flavors they have these uh, rolls and they have bread they have donuts the variety is always changing um, like I said here we had something new and I thought I'd throw that out there that I go there and I've never seen this before there were three different flavors of these pretzels and I think one of them was a cream cheese the blue pack here are those cleaners I was talking about the bleach today was $2.50 a gallon and I know bleach right now is hard to find in some places this is Troyer's Country Outlet in Goshen, Indiana. They are closed on Sunday. So if you want to go to Troyer's and make a day of it, you can also go to Dented Can. I'm sure you'll find something. I always do. 
If you're enjoying these videos, please like. If you subscribe, it's even better. Like I said, it was a nice day, and I thought I'd go in case I get snowed in next week. Hope you're doing well, and I'll see you again soon. Take care.